Uh, for our second question, uh, Color Couture writes in from Instagram, how do internships benefit you? Um, there are definitely a lot of ways to answer this question. Um, I'm totally interested to hear what you guys say. I'll say the one that I think I hear less often, which is they help you find what you don't want to do. I, I did internships at certain companies where I was like, I'm glad I learned a lot from this, but if I did this for like a full-time dang job, like, this would not work out. So ironically for me, a huge part of my internship experience was looking at my experiences there and saying, no, I'm good. This is good. This like summer three months, like great, all done. But what do you guys think? I actually had a somewhat similar experience. Um, while doing the internship, I loved it. I had um, an internship at the U.S. Embassy in Madrid, um, and I loved it, and it was great. Um, and then after that, I thought that's what I wanted to do was study international relations and you're <laughs> doing great at that. <laughs> um, but after thinking about it for maybe a year <laughs> or more later, I realized, um, I started thinking about some of the, as the negative aspects that people had mentioned while I was working there, in that, for example, you don't get to choose where you live, you move around every three years or two years, so, and some of them had explained about how lonely it might be, and after a while I just realized that actually those are things that are kind of important to me, and I'm not so sure that I want to follow through on that career. It's really good that you thought about that, yeah. though. Yeah. <laughs> Realize that before you invested too much. In yeah. It. Um, for my intern, my first internship, um, I was with a nonprofit, and me and one other girl, we were just doing public relations, media stuff, but mainly just social media. Um, they were a very small nonprofit in Rhode Island, and they didn't really have any guidance at all. We you know, reported to one lady when we got there, but she was in charge of the whole nonprofit. So like, she managed to spend maybe a minute talking to us when we first got there, but then it was kind of just like, okay, can you go like post on social media? And you know, this being my first internship, I'm like, okay, like I can post on my own social media, but it's completely different posting for a nonprofit or a business. So there was no guidance there at all. And I think that benefit benefited me because I realized you know, looking into internships, while I loved working for a nonprofit and I love the company, you have to look into it a little bit more before you even accept the internship, just to make sure it's gonna, you know, give you the skills that you are going to need to get that experience to go a little bit further the next time. Um, I don't think I got too many skills out of this besides being able to, you know, work independently. Um, but other than that, yeah, I just feel like that what that internship helped me do is just like show me that I need to look more into it, look more into the internships before yeah. I apply to them. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. It's like those things of like the things you don't think about, like whenever you're applying for jobs or like when you're younger and you're like learning about them, you're like, oh, like I should be looking at like the the pay or the skills I'll learn. Like you want to look at those, but I think kind of to your point, it's also other stuff like what is like the organizational structure mm -hmm. yeah. and like do I actually want to do this? Like, I think those are I think they're like, you're so excited that someone accepts you. Yeah, please, <laughs> like, yeah. Oh my gosh, I got really? an internship, that's so shocking. Or even when you get a job, like, like don't always feel like you have to take the job, the first job that accepts you because you might want to look into that more. And same with um, like unpaid internships, just to, something to keep in mind, I guess, is, you know, are you sure you're willing to like, yeah. do all this like grunt work maybe? Um, because you do want to make sure it benefits yeah. you. Right. right. Yeah. In the way that For you sure. need it to. So I feel like with unpaid internships, they're legally supposed to be supposed to be cracking down on them because um, you're you're working. Mm -hmm. um, so you're supposed to either get it for college credit or they're supposed to pay you. Um, I did an internship where I wasn't paid. Um, I said that I would help out and they were like, we can't pay you. And I was like, I still want the experience of that. And they said, great. And then they found me two internships that were paid. Mm -hmm. um, because they wanted to help me out, but they, they they were like, we can't pay you. This is necessarily legal, and I was like, I'll just volunteer mm -hmm. to edit and stuff like that. Um, so maybe yeah, definitely look into that kind of stuff. Like, are, it, how is this benefiting you, and is it the benefit you want? I, my junior year of college, woe woe to me. <laughs> I had so.
several internship offers. And one of them, they said, we need an intern to work for free to edit our book. And at that point, I had already edited a book for free to get exposure. Yeah. Exposure pays all the bills. Um, <laughs> to, for exposure, and I got, I worked on one other book as an editor to, to get paid. And I said, I don't really want to do this for free anymore. Like, yeah. that's, I won't get any additional benefits from this. I would much rather work, continue to work for the League of Vermont Writers. They said they would pay me and I would get class credit for it. So I might as well just stick with them. I get to do some editing stuff. Um, I already know the structure of my internship and it, I, I had to do some event planning while I was there. So it gave me more skills that I got to work on. So Good show of hands though, like, had to have all of us done unpaid internships? Because I only did unpaid internships. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, like, maybe that'll change in the future, but, like, it's I... It's supposed to be. It's supposed to be. It's supposed to be is the key word. Yeah. So, like, it's, it gets interesting with, like, the college credit stuff, too, is yeah. something I would say you should pay attention to, because sometimes, and I fell into this, you'll be in the really weird position of paying to do your internship, because it's a class, technically. <laughs> So like my second summer internship cost me like five thousand dollars, and I was like, "Wait a minute!" Like, <laughs> mm -hmm. like the calculus there is a little like tricky. Like, yeah. it's already such a function of privilege to be able to take an unpaid internship, but then yeah. if you're taking an unpaid internship that counts as class credit, like, really think about that that yeah. value add. Like, is it actually there, or is this a weird situation where you're paying to do labor for a company? But getting credit from your organization yeah. like and one thing that i was able to do and which might be an option at other schools too is i was able to apply for like a, a little like scholarship to do mm -hmm. my specific yep. internship totally. so that helped cover some of the costs of yeah uh, some schools will do grants or stipends right. grants for stipends yeah. Um, yeah for students if you can't afford it yeah, the state um, of Massachusetts has one, just the whole state for anybody to take an internship. Go Massachusetts. <laughs> Classic. Russian. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's interesting. We all kind of like immediately zoomed in on the financial part of it, but it's, like, I mean, are yeah, there other benefits? <laughs> like, <laughs> Honestly, I think one of the benefits for me was I have always, always wanted to be one of those people that's like, oh, back in the day, I used to do X, I used to do Y, I used to do that, I used to do that. And, um, like you just have a whole bunch of experiences. And for me, interning was a great way to do that because I got to work for an independent publisher. I got mm -hmm. to work for uh, my college publisher. I got to work for the League of Vermont Writers. I got to do a whole bunch of other things. I got to edit, like I said, edit a book uh, before I graduated. And I just wanted all of these dis different experiences. Um, and so that's one of the things I really liked about internships is that they have an end there is a chance, there's like an expiration date on them. And even if you do end up getting a job from one of them, like we discussed in the last question, that internship will end and you'll get the chance to go into another one and have a different experience. Something I noticed when I was actually applying for jobs a year ago, almost a year now, I've been here for almost a year, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> is that it's so competitive out there nowadays that I would be interviewing for jobs and I had two internships, but there were people who had graduated the same time I did, who had like six internships. Yeah. And those people, you know, they would do it during the school year, during the summer, they started like sophomore year of college, some even started in high school. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's very competitive out there, not to scare anyone, <laughs> um, but like internships, like experience, that's what everyone's looking for right now. Um, I know a lot of entry level jobs that I was looking to apply to were like, you need one to two years of experience in internships. Yeah, and then whole like, other whole podcast. different mess of problems. <laughs> <Next> one, <laughs> <from all laughs> the so say what? How internships benefit you? Yeah, no, yeah. that's that's yeah. fair. I have that a, a, a friend benefit, who yeah. went to e, 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 U, um, NYU, and we had. <laughs> that's my favorite college. <laughs> Sorry, it's not English. <laughs> um, so she went to NYU. Uh, which is a bigger name school that I went to, and she was talking to me and she goes, it's so stressful, we need like four internships to get a job after we graduate. And I'm like, yeah, that's a Whoa. problem. <laughs> I'm in the middle of a, my third internship, but cool, yeah. yeah. <laughs> totally a problem getting internships. Um, so that's, honestly, it's it's a benefit in that way because like I said, NYU is a big, is a big name school, but she was still 
struggling to find positions that she liked after college because she didn't have internship experience. And that's nothing against NYU. I think she just didn't seek out the opportunities because I'm sure NYU has a great program for internships. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm pretty sure they publicize that. I'm pretty sure it's like a thing, yeah. Yeah, um, so they benefit you, but the thing is that you have to take advantage of those benefits. So if you're right. struggling to get intern an internship, that's what your career services is for. If you're in high school, there are programs for interns. I don't know, prime example for that for interns in um, that you can do locally. Um, most major cities in the U.S. have internship programs. I know New York does, Boston does, Chicago does, um, L.A., Seattle. If you go to the city website and you start looking for like high school internships, there might may be a youth program very likely be a youth program where you get an internship in the summer. Also, local companies, Microsoft does one for um, Washington State students. Um, I know Bank of America does one that's national. Like if you go to your local Bank of America location, they might be able to set you up with an internship. Uh, I did my internship through Boston and then the next year they switched over to John Hancock had, John Hancock Financial, not the guy. <laughs> John Hancock Financial had a, um, a scholarship program uh, called ML MLK Youth Scholars. So it was, you had to go to your internship four days for the week, and then one day a week you had to go to this um, seminar essentially, where you would talk about um, different topics, and it was all using Martin Luther King Jr. as sort of this basis and learning from his speeches, from his values. Um, it was a really interesting program, so look for things like that in companies near, that are located near you. Um, because the benefit is also saying, oh yeah, I worked through John Hancock, which is right, that's another pretty name. big yeah. name, yeah. not just on the Declaration. <laughs> is it <laughs> also on the Fenway part? It is. Yeah, it's on the background, all lit up. It's a big deal. It's, it's a big deal. I mean, it's also like, they, they're not just in Boston, too, which is cool. And like, if you, if you have the option to do these internships locally through these companies, it's the benefit to you is that you start getting job experience when you're in high school, uh, which is cool. Yeah, the one last benefit I can kind of think of that I definitely wanted to hit on was um, like possible mentors. Oh. Like from my first internship, uh, I met the head of marketing at Pay Solution. Hi, Sarah. Um, she's, <laughs> she's just like amazing. Definitely and she has been, definitely watches. watches. Um, <laughs> and, but she's been like my mentor since I did that, and that was in my sophomore year of college, and I'm like a year and a half, two years out of college now. So she helped. She has helped me get like every professional opportunity I've gotten since then, because she was just like super awesome as a mentor. So there is a possibility of any internship you're at, like if you bring your A game and you like work with somebody, there's a possibility of that becoming like a huge benefit to you. Later. And a great reference. And yeah, yeah, exactly. Like a reference, a mentor, a friend, like all that came from like working at that internship for sure. So. It's kind of the classic, like, you get as much out as you put in, if you can, for sure. It's also a fun, just, this came to me, um, <laughs> as a student being treated as an equal by adults. For me, that was great, especially in high school. I was working with people who were in their 20s, 30s, 40s, and they didn't talk down to me because of my age. They treated me like an equal. They, they acknowledged that we were all doing the same job, which is just so refreshing. <laughs> I don't know if you guys had a similar experience, but I also, even in college, people I feel like would talk down to me because I was a youth. And they were like, you don't have experience, you don't have this, you don't have that. And I'm like, but we're working at the same place. <laughs> Maybe treat me equally. And it's just refreshing to have that happen. I think you're the only intern who has ever said that. That <laughs> they were treating equally? Yeah. Oh, I remember at one point. Notice the silence on the side. I remember at one point when I was like, working for the league, I went to my boss and she's like, oh, I'm just so tired. I said, Do you want me to get you coffee? And she goes, No, I'm not going to make you do that as an intern. You're not going to no. have coffee. And I was like, eh, But that's not in my job description. <laughs> You're just being nice. <laughs> And on the flip side of that, like, while it's nice to get, like, a taste of the real world yeah. and, like, working and stuff, it's also, if you're doing it like, while you're in college and everything, you still have, like, a little safety blanket of, yeah. just go right back yeah. into college. Yeah. Like, That's okay, nice. sure. I got a taste. No, not fully ready, but know what it's kind of going to be like. Yeah. Yeah.